fish spermatozoa recording and evaluating their motility. Aims of the video. In this review article, authors present specific methodologies for recording the motion of fish spermatozoa, focusing specifically on movement of sperm flagella recorded while moving. Such records are rendered possible by the use of high-speed video camera combined with high-magnification objective lenses. Such methodology has been applied by the authors to sperm from many aquatic species, more precisely fish spermatozoa exposed to different swimming solutions at different temperatures or subjected to freezing leading to more than 20 publications in the field of aquaculture and cryoconservation. Introduction, a brief presentation of fish spermatozoa and their specificities. Fish spermatozoon is a very simple cell comprising a head, a mitochondrion and a flagellum about 100 micrometer long and 0.5 micrometer diameter. Activation of sperm motility. Sperm motility activation of fish with external fertilization occurs when it is released out in the surrounding fresh or marine water. Fish spermatozoa are very fast swimmers with velocity up to 250 micrometer per second, with beat frequency of the flagellum up to 80 Hz, but their motility lasts very short, sometimes less than 30 seconds. Motility is activated by osmolarity, either upward in seawater or downward in fresh water. Wave propagation. Right after activation, waves propagate from head to the flagellar tip. This generates a force that will propel the sperm with the head forward, successive flagellar waves. The wave crests progress from left to right and the progression of the head is from right to left. In between two wave crests is a linear segment. The progression of successive segments to the right develops a force pushing on the medium and leading to the displacement of the whole cell to the left. Material and methods. Video records at low magnification. The first basic piece of equipment is a microscope which is connected to a video camera by a tube including a projective lens. Inside the connecting tube is a projective lens. The analogic video camera is connected to a signal converter delivering a digital signal to the computer through a firewire connection. The condenser of the microscope can be either phase contrast optics or dark field type the latter including a black central disc. Principle of dark field microscopy. As we can see in this diagram explaining the principle dark field illumination, the presence of the black disc leads the light to form a conical beam. A 20x lens allows to detect head sperm. In such optical conditions, details of flagella are not visible. For dark field microscopy, optics should be perfectly clean.
a drop of solvent is deposited on a tissue and is applied to the surface of the front part of the objective. It is used to gently clean the objective surface. Then remove the excess of solvent. A special care is applied to clean carefully the front lens. It is convenient to use painted glass slide so as to control the distance between glass slide and cover slip, possibly in combination with additional spacers. A tiny volume of sperm sample can be applied to the tip of a micro needle. Sperm is collected when all the equipment is ready. For sperm collection, careful cleaning of the fish should precede the collection of milk by pressure on the belly. In some species, milk is aspirated by a pipette. The method applied to collect milk is different according to each species. This is another example where milk from trout is collected. In case of sturgeon, milk is collected from the genital pore after insertion of a catheter. Fishes live at different temperatures depending on species. Sperm motility should be recorded at the temperature where the fish is reproducing. For this purpose, a cooling stage should be set on the microscope so as to correctly control the temperature especially in the low range below 10 centigrade. How to measure fish sperm motility parameters? For automated quantification of motility parameters, one can use a computer-assisted sperm analysis system, so-called CASA. A digital video camera is convenient for image acquisition for CASA. First step in CASA analysis requires merging of several video images. Visualization of flagella. One way is to use microscopy with stroboscopic illumination. A stroboscopic illuminator delivers very brief flashes of high intensity light at adjustable frequency. A LED illuminator is positioned in lieu of the light source. By use of dark field microscopy combined with microscopy, the flagellum appears as a bright line without blur. The frequency of the strobe light can be adjusted. The stroboscopic illumination allows a measurement of the flagellar beat frequency. Here we see the influence of the light frequency itself. The stroboscopic illumination can be used to quantify the beat frequency of the flagellum as seen when changing the flash frequency. If light and beat frequencies differ, wave propagates headward or tipward. The use of high-speed video camera 
Such camera allows high image frequency, such as 5 to 10,000 images per second. A high energy lamp should be used to increase illumination power. For better microscopic visualization of flagella, high magnification lenses up to 100x are necessary. High magnification lenses 60 or 100x require oil immersion. Adjusting the cover slip and adding the immersion oil takes about 5 seconds minimum. First video images cannot be recorded earlier. Results Individual fish sperm heads can be visualized with a 10x objective. Each trace of the head can be tracked from one video frame to the next. From frame to frame we see the head tracks which are appearing on the screen. From the length of the trace and the time between two frames one can obtain the value of velocity. The same applies for the diameter of sperm tracks that are inversely related to linearity. The same principles are applied for automatic analysis of fish sperm motility by computerized methods. The different parameters generated by CASA system are illustrated in this schematic figure. Fish spermatozoa have the tendency to swim in the vicinity of surface. Here are shown fish spermatozoa swimming in the vicinity of a glass slide according to clockwise circles, but when changing the plane of focus, sperm swim in the vicinity of the cover slip and follow counterclockwise circling. During the motility period, the wave shape of fish sperm flagella changes. In the initial period, waves cover the whole flagellum, while in the late period only the proximal flagellum is active. Visualization of the flagellum reveals more information. More details about the flagellum are observed at higher magnification with high-speed video recording, and this gives access to additional swimming parameters. Here we compare the flagellum visualization at three different frame rates. A frame-by-frame -frame analysis of the images of flagella gives details about flagella waves propagation. Here follow a few examples of flagella wave parameters, such as amplitude of the waves, bend angle of an individual wave, head orientation in successive frames. Another example shows the curling of the flagellum at the tip appearing during the motility period in pond water, which is not the case when the same sperm cell is swimming in a saline solution. When the viscosity of the swimming solution is increased, such as in the egg jelly layer, the shape of the waves and the beat frequency are highly affected. Waves and perturbations also appear in the flagellum of a sturgeon sperm due to viscosity. Here is another example of information that was acquired at motility initiation of a trout spermatozoon where the very initial waves could be recorded and quantified for the first time. Here are shown successively 
The movement characteristics of a headless sturgeon spermatozoon and another sperm cell devoid of membrane. A last example shows the propagation of helical waves in the flagellum of Xenopus spermatozoon. Representative results. By causal analysis, the following parameters can be obtained. Proportion of motile cells in a sperm population, linearity of head tracks, average velocity, average distance covered by a spermatozoon. By analysis of flagella, again as example, one can document the flagella beat frequency, the wave dampening, the flagella defects provoked by osmotic stress and it's possible to get a precise analysis of the flagella beating parameters. Here are listed some of the aquatic species, mostly fish, used in these studies. Regarding caza, sturgeon, paddlefish, common carp, tench, perch, halibut, turbot, sea bass, stickleback, cod, trout or more generally salmonids, wallfish, zebrafish, tilapia and so on. Additional information about detailed beating of the flagellum were obtained in sturgeon, trout, carp, and so on, as well as on demembranated ATP reactivated flagella of carp, paddlefish, trout, sturgeon, and sea urchin spermatozoa. Here comes a series of questions answered and results published thanks to a detailed analysis of fish sperm flagella. How a spermatozoon approaches the surface of a fish egg according to an optimal direction. Fish sperm flagellum behavior is affected by ovarian fluid surrounding the egg. Initiation of wave propagation of fish sperm flagella needs only one-tenth of a second. Ribbon-shaped flagella propel fish spermatozoa more efficiently than regular cylindrical ones. Suppleness of a surface encountered by fish sperm flagellum influences the swimming performance of the spermatozoa. Contact with CO2 gas blocks wave propagation of flat fish sperm flagella. Flagella developed three-dimensional waves that lead fish spermatozoa to remain swimming close to any surface. Thank you for your attention. Fish spermatozoa recording and evaluating their motility. Authors are thankful to colleagues who contributed to the realization of this video. Thanks a lot. Authors are also thankful to the different agencies that supported financially the experimental work presented in this video, including COST and Aquagamete. Thank you.